All right, guys. I've been walking up in here, and I came across this little area that has a lot of obsidian and shards of pottery. You can sometimes put those together to make things. Look at this thing I found. That's a handle of some kind. Pretty cool. Um, see, and there's, there's more pottery right there. I've almost got enough. I mean, this is this is some of it. Oh, my hell! Yeah, this is some of it. The hell. I'm sure there's arrowheads here too. Anyway, the other thing is, oh, there's a lot of, I might just be able to get this pot restored because it's all in the same area. And it's all the same kind of pot. I can always come back here and see if I can't gather more. It's hard to do this and try to film. It's just difficult. Look how thick that pottery is. It's crazy. Okay. Look at that arrowhead. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, that's as good as it gets. A little tip broke off, but very cool. I could probably just sit right here. What, what happens is they find an area where they can hunt, they can have tactical advantage. They can see anything that's coming towards them and they'll stay here for a little while from what I have found. They'll stay for a while but then they'll pick up and when they leave, which is, this is the thing I really don't like, is when they leave, they shatter their pots so nobody else can use them. So it's almost like the only way you're ever going to, I mean, you can piece them together and every once in a while somebody will find a pot, which is illegal, but I enjoy putting them together, see what they make. Look at all those shards of obsidian. Look how big that one is. Holy crap, that's that right there is a spearhead broken off or a cutting tool this whole area right here I've never noticed this before heck I'm gonna end up staying here all day I can't uh, but you just don't want to pass all this up either because you don't see it very often very very often and I know a lot of you guys could give a shit less, but it is kind of one of my one of my passions because it makes you feel like you're touching the same thing that that uh, an Indian had used. I mean, it could be a hundred or a thousand years ago. We don't know. But I think I've scoured it pretty much. There's one right there. See that pottery? 
<sighs> Hopefully I can piece at least one of these together. Anyway, I'm not going to keep you tied up in my little search. I'm going to go up here and start working on bigger things. One thing to keep in mind is if you are if you're ever out looking for arrowheads or whatever it may be and just taking a stroll if you come across a bunch of obsidian or flint in general something's been going on there they've been chipping it um, it could be a war party it could be a hunting party and if you go if you go 50 100 and 200 yards in a circle most likely you're going to find something but anyway look how look how quiet it is up here my hell i didn't notice that but it's rained last night so everything's just a little bit damp uh, that's the first time I found pottery up here and it was up high which means they had to have been using that in the winter or, or in the summer be too cold in the winter I mean the snow's already melted off in about two hours anyway I'm headed up to this place where there's a uh, I hope there's going to be caves. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to go up in here and see if I can find something. Did you guys hear that? Sound like a growl. What the hell? I ha I can hear crows in the background. Huh. I'm really, one of the things I don't like is having a rock thrown at me. Because if they, I mean, if they wanted to, they'd hit you and kill you. Or they'd just walk up and snap your neck but I don't think they have that intention in mind which is really cool because it makes them smarter than the average animal but so my fear level goes down quite a bit when I when I think about it that way although a gun isn't going to make a whole lot of difference but it gives me peace of mind I'd like to get a 50 caliber pistol just for the mere fact that it's louder. I doubt I'd shoot one for the fear of being flanked before I even got a second round off. Anyway. Alright. I was walking up through here. And look at this. I mean, look at the rocks, the way they're stacked. They don't usually stack like that. And these rocks piled up and those sticks. It would have to be some kind of a... If it was natural, it had to have been some kind of phenomenon because you don't see that usually ever. Anyway, onwards and upwards. whining of course when I put it on it doesn't do it I can almost hear something walking down through there come on anyway I still got a ways to go keep this is where I'm almost to the top but there's some kind of funk 
emanating from here. It smells like death. And it very well could be a deer. But it's ripe. Yeah. I don't... Huh. Anyhow. Okay. I'm getting close to that. The top of this little area. Once I get up here, there should be a lot of caves. Well, at least overhangs and stuff. I don't know if there's caves. I've never been here. It's pretty cool stuff, though. Look at that. Some kind of a high cactus. I mean, we're at over 8,500 feet. At least 8,200. That's weird. Anyway. Listen. What the hell is that? Those are crows. But there's something that isn't. I'm in unknown territory. I've never been here. It'd be a hell of a ride trying to run out. Come on. Those, look at those. I don't know if you can see way up there. Those crows are just circling. Huh. In hours. This is brutal. Okay. See these? There's this one and this one. And they could be natural. I mean, it's possible. But it's kind of strange. I keep hearing something. And every time I start talking, I can't hear it. Or I turn the video on, it's gone. Anyway. See, listen. an animal but it sounds different that's that is the sound of a, a bird I'm thinking but it doesn't usually sound like that huh anyway okay found some more big boulders I always like these kind of things but makes you wonder if there's more under there than we know anyway yeah look at that that is cool Huh. Pretty cool. Really love to find some hieroglyphs in there or something. Or something even, you know, kind of like that. Oh, looky lucky! Holy shit. 
Uh, that is weird as hell. Yeah, that's natural. I've I've never seen that before. I mean, the, the sticks are crude, but that horn is awesome. I think I'm gonna have, I don't know if I dare take that horn. Look, there's rock up there too. Mm, hell. Kind of gives me the, the creeps. I mean, maybe that's some kind of a death totem or something. I, I don't know. I've just never seen horns and there's a lot of them out here that have been like that. Anyway. Oh, shit. That death smell is massive right here. Maybe I shouldn't have taken that horn. I just couldn't control it. Please let me find a little deer that's been killed. I don't want to come face to face right this instant. I know, you guys are going to give me hell about taking the horn. I don't know if it was a... I doubt it was a gift. I haven't even been up in here. Huh. Ooh, it's getting ripe. has to be overcast and dreary just to add to my nightmare anyway I've come off this shelf gotta do some a little bit of exploring right here Jeez. And over there. I can't smell that dead thing anymore. What was that? Yeah, I'm being followed. Ooh, shit. All right. Something's got to be right here. That smell is... How can it just go from one place to another? Oh, shit. It almost smells like... death mixed with flowers and it may be some of these flowers that's mixing with but I doubt it hell I mean if a guy got taken down in here there's a good chance nobody would know where you were the other thing is to be able to find these kind of things horns structures all that kind of stuff you know it's remote as remote as, ooh, Blue Jay. As remote as remote gets, which in some ways is good. You know, you know you're treading on ground that few people have walked on, but at the same time, 
you're trespassing and it may be they may be curious they may be pissed they really may be mad that I took this horn but maybe if I take it they'll understand that I took it as a gift I should have left something but I don't have anything so anyway there's a lot of shelves right here Keep hearing something. It's not the blue jay. Up where I just came from. Huh. All right. Jeez. Okay. Okay. Look at these. I came walking up here and there's little passageways in between all these I'm gonna have to go around front because I don't want to startle anything that's in there I mean look this boulder field and that smell something's here and I'm not shitting deer and be done with it then I wouldn't be so freaked out but that doesn't smell like a dead deer that smells like almost has a funk of BO with it that's weird mm. Mm. mine got caught up Look at that. Wow. That is cool. <laughs> wow. That's good stuff right there. Awesome. Another crack. Ooh. There it is again. being trailed I don't think they've ever been this close where I could smell them it's so damn thick through there you can't see a damn thing heck they could even climb that tree Something's been tore up. See, it's gone now. Which means it's moving. Because it wouldn't just go away that quick. I don't know, maybe they emit some kind of a funk. Man, they could, they could use these for anything. I mean, this is the, per the perfect tactical location to pounce. Mountain lions, too. I don't think there's too many mountain lions here, at least the feeling I've got. you know if it, if it happens again because that smell is just I'll never forget that smell ever I just don't want to keep smelling it I don't think my damn 45 is gonna make a damn better difference if it got to that right here 
and I thought that was rock and I stepped on it and it's not it's scat of some kind I've never ever seen scat that looks like that it's rounded off like it's like it's a rock but it's not Wow. Okay. Keep moving. Strange. Look at this. It's been snapped off and it almost looks like something's been using it to hide out from the rain. It could be natural, but it's weird. Alright guys, this is this is what I found today in that one little area. I mean, lots of pottery, a couple arrowheads, which I rarely find, and this handle, which is awesome, along with these pieces of pottery that are painted. Oh, that was awesome. And then this one has a lip on it right here. You can see the lip. At the edge of a bowl. Anyway, I really thought it was pretty cool. Okay. Um, I'm headed up in here in this area. It ba its boundary is one of the areas where I found a lot of things, a lot of different type. structures um, so I'm it's a little bit different because it's on the this is the north side or the west side it gets more Sun um, and so I'm trying to get in here and see what we can find I haven't found anything yet I've been hiking my butt off I still haven't come across anything. I mean, there was that little tore up area, but I don't know if that means anything for sure. Anyway, man, I didn't realize this hike was this far up in here. Cool. All right. I'm down here and I came across this bone. Didn't see it on the way up. But anyway. It looks like it was snapped. But what's crazy is look at that hole right there. Looks like something tried to suck out the marrow, couldn't get to it, and then broke it. It's not a huge bone, so I don't know what that means. But if it was, if it was newer, there's no way person could have done it, but I can't say for certain. See, this right here is a big snake, but it's just a blow snake. You can tell by the head. You need to get off, buddy. The head's not a viper head. One, get off the road. got big teeth. No poison. Big teeth. We went up in there a little ways looking for that mine, but I can't find it. Look at this little seep. These are all over the place up here. 
pretty cool.